Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my makeup must-haves. The things in my routine that I use every single day, the products that never go out of style, and the things that I absolutely love. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you want. Subscribe down below. I do videos at least twice a week. Our Amaze Box is coming back tomorrow, so if you're one of the people who has messaged me about wanting to get more information about the, the Amaze Box, there will be a select few um, spots opening up tomorrow, probably around a couple thousand, and it always sells out really quickly. So if you want to be one of the first people to get your Amaze Box, I'll go ahead and put the time right here that they're gonna be available so you can go ahead and get on the website at this time to get yourself signed up. I would suggest making, you can go onto the website and make a customer portal before then, um, but all of the information will be linked down below in the description box and I'll make sure to post this video tonight so that you can actually get one tomorrow. And I wanted to just jump into these products because I find that I use the same several products every single day unless I'm doing some kind of like random look that is just different from the, the norm. But these are the products that are my tried and true makeup artist favorites. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll start from the beginning of my routine. So my first thing is my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It looks like this and I'll link everything down below in the description box so you guys can click it, get it if you want it. It's gonna be super easy. So this is my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is kind of like a jelly consistency and it doesn't have silicones in it so it kind of just a lot of uh, like pore filling primers have silicones that do not mix well with our foundation. Our foundation is a wax based foundation um, and so silicones and waxes don't really gel. So if you're trying to use your Lime Life foundation with a, a silicone based primer, it's not going to work very well. So I recommend using something like this that's more moisturizing. You're gonna get the best results with something like that rather than something that's going to just kind of band-aid your pores. So I really, really love this and I've been using it. This is probably my second bottle of this and it makes my skin glowy and dewy and fills in my pores and I love it. The next product that I have is my foundation and concealer palette. All of Lime Life's palettes come like this. They're really thin, super easy to carry around in a makeup bag. And I have my foundation and my two concealers. So I have Shinto One. This is usually for when I'm a little bit more tanned for self tanner. Then I have Zero and Concealer Two. Concealer Two is what I use underneath my foundation. And the fun part about our foundations are that if you get a shade that's like a little bit darker, that's kind of like your summer shade, and you get a lighter concealer, you can actually go ahead and mix the two together to get your perfect shade when you're a little lighter. So today, I took a little bit of Shinto, I'm, I'm mixed with my brush, a little bit of Shinto one, and a little bit of Shinto's, or a little bit of concealer zero, and just went in, and it did a pretty good job. So. I'm really impressed. I love this foundation. You guys know that for the last four years, this has been my go-to staple. Our concealers are waterproof, can cover tattoos. Need I say more? They're amazing. Like, let me see if I can get show you a little bit of this coverage because I have tattoos here on my... So this is with my concealer. I mean, that's just with one pass of concealer. You can see right there. God, that just completely diminished that. I mean, I can even just go in with a little bit and it'll kind of cover it, but I mean, how impressive is that? So if you just dab a little bit on those areas, now you can go in with a corrector first um, to make them disappear a little bit more, but that shows you the coverage right there. And I usually apply those with like an eyeshadow, a blender brush, fantastic, every single time. Now for my face powder, I use RCMA No Color Powder. This stuff is super cheap. Um, it's my go-to tried and true favorite. Um, Lime Life has a powder that is a little bit thinner and it comes in a pan, um, which it's the same color. It's the same kind of thing. It's translucent. It doesn't have any color to it. And I just really like using a lot of powder. So I go through the powder pans really fast. So I just buy this. You can get this on Alco & Co's website. I'll go ahead and link that down below. I think it's like 12 or 14 dollars for this big bottle of powder in this last a couple months so really look into this i love this stuff then let's move over to bronzer blush and highlight this is the only palette that i use every single day it looks like this i can have all three in one so i don't have to have individual compacts and try and figure out like where's my blush where's my bronzer if they all look the same 
I have my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight all in one palette and it works really well for me. I don't ever have to look around. I don't have to worry about what color is gonna match. And the fun part about these two is you can put any shade in here. You can put any shade of bronzer, any shade of blush. And this is our one blush that works as a highlighter. So you can't really, we don't have multiple highlighter options right now. Hopefully we will in the future, fingers crossed. But this is a really great option. Obviously you can tell my highlight is great. <laughs> so now moving on to the next step in my routine usually I'll do my brows next and I do use our Lime Life uh, Perfect Brow Pencil this is amazing it gets every single hair it kind of fills into where you're not going to look like you have black brows unless you really really try it has a spoolie on one end and then you have your little micro pencil so you can get all the hair like strokes that you would ever want and it's amazing and then i go through with my lime life perfect brow gel in medium these two our brow gels and our pencils have um products that match up with each color so this is kind of what i got going on right now and these are what i use every single day love it routine never fails me so then for my eyeshadow um i've been using my six pan palette my lem life six pan palette this with this you can literally create any look obviously these are the shades that i put in mind this one is a little bit of a shiny color it's called in sequins then we have um one night sand coral of the story uh a corkable brownie points and dial it black and as you can see our shadows are super pigmented this is just the one that's the shimmer from the palette that i have so pretty love those and i literally use that palette every single day without fail and i just realized that i didn't pull one of the products that i use often out of my drawer it's this hourglass scattered light uh glitter eyeshadow in reflect now it looks like you're thinking glitter eyeshadow that's really intense it's not it looks like this and i'll show you kind of what it looks like on the back of my hand so it's kind of this like creamy powder which is weird um <laughs> but they look like that they're super pretty a lot of the times i'll just go ahead and wash that over my eye with my finger just kind of rub it on there and it looks bomb and for eyeliner, usually I use our um, Perfect Eyeliner Pen in brown. I like brown personally for people who don't have super dark hair colors because black can be really intense if you're not careful with it. So our liners are a felt tip, or our liners are a brush tip, and you can literally make little super tiny thin lines or you can make thicker lines like that depending on how you want your brush to go it's an ultra fine tip so you can literally get the most precise application of your life it stays it doesn't budge you guys have seen me use it in so many tutorials it's i mean it's literally the best liner i've ever used i much prefer these over felt tip liners felt tip liners for me don't give enough to where you can actually go with the contour of the eye so i personally prefer the brush tip liners um, over anything and then for my lash curler, I usually use this Prima curler. It is a little weird looking and a little unconventional, but that's why I love it. It gets every little lash section that you could possibly need. So love that. And then for my mascara, I do use two. I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in waterproof just to make sure that my eyelashes stay up. And then I use my Lime Life Perfect Mascara with the built-in fibers to make them nice and fluffy and separated. And then I go in with the waterproof to make sure that they stand up and stay up all day. And then the last thing that I use in my makeup routine regularly um, until we get to the sprays is this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I only use one shade from it, this top corner shade right here. These two are the best inner corner and brow bone shades that I've ever found. I love them to death. So I keep buying these palettes over and over again just to use that one shade. <laughs> As you can tell, like literally every other shadow in this palette is completely, completely set. So those are all of the products. Oh, and I also use my Perfect Balm. This is my Lime Life Perfect Balm. It looks like this. It's a cute little... Um, 
packaging. You can use these actually. We have several different colors like this one, for example. I think I have dragon fruit and pink grapefruit and they look like this. And they have that matte soft touch kind of packaging. And you can actually use these on your cheeks as well as your lips. So that's the um, dragon fruit. And then this is the pink grapefruit. They're super pretty. You can use them as um, cream blushes, like I said. And this one actually has like a minty, um, a minty feel to your lips. It kind of gets cool. So I really like these. Now the last things that I use in my routine every single day are sprays. I usually use Max Mac uh, Mac Fix Plus every single day. Um, I'll either use it on bare skin or I'll spray it on top of my foundation after I finish, which is what I did today. I sprayed it on my foundation before I set it with powder and kind of just dabbed it in with a beauty sponge. By the way, I do use our wonderful beauty sponge every single day to apply my foundation. And then I also use our um, Time Setter Makeup Setting Spray, which is my favorite personal setting spray. It keeps your makeup on all day. It helps with oiliness. It keeps it just locked and loaded so that you can have the best day possible and you don't have to worry about your makeup wearing throughout the day. It literally is perfection. So these are the products that I use every single day for my makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. By the way, um, I'll go ahead and put this feature me put this in the other uh in the beginning of the video but so like i said thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate it i will see you again probably on friday with a new video and yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you check out some of the products that i use because i can guarantee you you will love them you try them you play with them if not we have a 30 day money back guarantee we'll get your money back and if you send the products back um even if they're used if you're not happy with it you get instant refund. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.